on the day she was born, The head nurse spoke up and said, leave this one alone. She could tell right away that Ellen was bad to the bone. Uh, fortunately for us, we were surrounded by family that did not leave Ellen alone. Ellen was the first child, grandchild, and niece on both sides of the family. She was immediately the center of attention, which could explain some things. Uh, <laughs> Our family has been faithful and supportive to Ellen. They have celebrated her, laughed with her, cried with her, mentored her. Most importantly, they prayed for her and shown her the love of Christ in so many ways. Gregory Sporko, I love everything about you. I admire you more than anyone I've ever met. I'm so proud of who you are and who you are becoming, and I'm proud to be yours. And I could list things that I love about you forever, but you always assume the best of people, and you have a way of making everyone feel so seen and so special. I love that you are so ridiculously strong. Despite this strength, you are not tough or hardened. You are filled with gratitude, empathy, and joy. Seventy-three million six hundred and ninety-nine thousand seconds that I've known you. <laughs> it didn't take long for me to realize that. <laughs> when we met, it took about a millisecond to see that you were special and I needed to get to know you more. You know what it was? Your smile. It lit up the night and it was, it was as if the world stopped for just that brief moment. I was even able to tune out that Rick Astley song that I'm almost certain Ben and Alexa were jamming to in the front seat. Alexa loves that song so much. <laughs> Little did I know that that was the start of the most incredible journey of my life. I can't believe we made it here. I have dreamed of this day for so long, and now that it is here, I'm so thankful that I'm sharing it with you. I have longed to find my partner for as long as I can remember, and I knew you were the one since the day I met you. But in my wildest dreams, I never imagined anyone as wonderful as you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Greg.
Craig, you may kiss your bride. Ellen, as you enter this new chapter of life and start running down a dream, <laughs> I'm excited for you to have a new family, a family who obviously loves you, loves each other, and loves the Lord. I couldn't ask for anything more. I love about you? The big brown eyes and Yeah, you passed. <laughs> you are sweetness. You are bratty. You're a princess, not a fatty. <laughs> You're a mess of contradictions in a dress. You are sassy. You are sappy. When you're with Greg, you are happy. Go start your story. to love you more each and every day and constantly pursue you in our marriage. I vow to always be faithful. I vow to always honor, cherish, and respect you. I promise to love you with my whole heart to the best of my ability for the rest of my life. Even in the difficult seasons where we don't feel that love as strongly, I promise to choose you and to pray for you to work with steadfastness to preserve and protect this covenant. You are mine, Gregory Sporko, and I'm so grateful to be yours.